Age is just a number. At least it is to these Hollywood stars who got together with romantic partners who, in some cases, could easily be their grandchildren. Feeling like a good cringe fest? Find out if true love really is blind with these extremely uncomfortable age gaps. Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones have a lot of things in common. They both won Oscars, and they also have the same birthday, September 25th. But one thing they don't have in common, the generations to which they belong. Douglas is on the cusp of the baby boom, born in 1944. But Zeta-Jones is more of a Generation Xer, born in 1969. Nevertheless, the quarter-century gap wasn't a problem when these two married in 2000. So how's your love life? Well, we didn't have much to talk about. You know, she was half my age. Listen, half your age is still an old woman. The couple has since endured some serious health scares and rough patches, but they've managed to avoid splitsville, despite a period of separation around 2013. Douglas shed some light on how they make it work, telling Access Hollywood, It's not taking the person closest to you for granted. Sometimes you make more of an effort with strangers, and um, I think we're very blessed to have a lot of mutual respect. As the creator of Playboy and the very mascot of the swing and lifestyle it represents, the late Hugh Hefner famously hung out with much, much younger women for decades. If you don't love <laughs> all of this, <laughs> and you're a fool. On New Year's Eve 2012, Hefner married his third wife, Crystal Harris. She was 26 at the time, 60 years younger than the 86-year-old Hef. I'm just gonna <laughs> sit here and smile. <laughs> While it probably wasn't a shock to many that Hef got hitched to someone in her 20s, it's easy to see the cringe factor when you consider his four children from his first two marriages. Christy, who's 66, David, who's 64, Cooper, who's 28, and Marston, who's 29, basically, Hef's two oldest children could have been his wife's parents. Yikes. Writer-director Woody Allen and model actress Mia Farrow were romantically involved for more than a decade. They never married, but Allen helped raise Farrow's adopted children. That pretty much ended in 1992 when Farrow reportedly discovered Allen was cheating on her after finding intimate Polaroids of another woman in Allen's apartment. Even worse, the pictures were of Sunyi Previn, Farrow's adopted daughter. They, 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 they were so casual about it. They didn't seem to be appropriately upset. Allen supposedly told Farrow that he was deeply in love with Previn and wanted to marry her. And not only was he essentially hooking up with his stepdaughter, there was an age gap of about 35 years. Allen was 57 at the time, while Previn was about 20 or 21. Allen and Previn married in 1997, but the legality of the union has done little to dispel the general public's feeling of unease about the whole thing. Celine Dion started to wade into singing professionally at the age of 12 thanks to the tutelage of her manager, the twice-divorced 38-year-old Renee Angelil. The relationship was purely business for years until in her late teens, Celine's feelings apparently started to change. And he said, Celine, I need you. First time in my life, I felt like I was needed. Mm. That made me feel great. Fortunately, her semi-scandalous relationship to her manager, who was 26 years her senior, worked out. They wed in 1994, started a family, and remained devoted to one another until Renee passed away from cancer at age 73 in 2016. If the old adage that rock stars are only in it to meet women is true, then Billy Joel must be the biggest rock star of all time. His huge hit, Uptown Girl, was originally called Uptown Girls, and it was about three women, models Elle McPherson and Christy Brinkley and singer Whitney Houston. Joel wound up dating McPherson and marrying and fathering a daughter with Brinkley. The couple divorced in 1994. Joel was five years older than Brinkley, but he decided to skew a lot younger with his next two marriages. Some of them age better than others. In 2004, he wed Katie Lee, a food writer, chef, and former host of Top Chef, who was about 32 years younger than Joel. They split in 2009. Next up for Joel, a brokerage employee named Alexis Roderick. They married in 2015 when the bride was 33 and the groom was 66. And here's a fun fact. Roderick is only about three years older than Joel's daughter, Alexa. Bruce Willis was half of one of the most famous celebrity super couples of all time when he was hitched to Demi Moore from 1987 to 2000. But the good-looking movie star divorcee found love again when he met Emma Hemming in 2008. On an episode of People's List, Hemming said that when she met Willis, she was surprised at how charming and funny he was. The two got married in 2009 when Willis was 54 and Hemming was 32. While their fast-paced romance sounds sweet, the Daily Mail couldn't help but point out, Emma looks very much like Bruce's first wife, Demi Moore, just 16 years younger. Nevertheless, these days, Hemming and Willis are going strong with their two kids. We are still married. And happy. And happy about it. 
If Haley Roberts would have taken her husband's last name, she would have been the second Haley Hasselhoff in the family, with only 12 years between them, too. That's because Baywatch star David Hasselhoff has a daughter named Haley with ex-wife Pamela Bach. The couple divorced in 2006, and in 2017, the pop star announced his engagement to Roberts after five years of dating. They made it official in July 2018. The Hoff told Hello Magazine, I waited to propose because I thought I was too old for her. He was 63, and she was 36 when he popped the question. Roberts told the son that she was living with her parents in Wales when she ran into Hasselhoff at a bar and asked to take a picture. My arm went, there she is. That's a girl that I've been dreaming about. There she is. Go get her. They hit it off and the rest is Hollywood history. It might be hard to believe, but stone-cold British action star Jason Statham celebrated his 50th birthday in 2017. And Rosie Huntington Whiteley, a Victoria's Secret model and actress, is 20 years his junior. We both uh, respect each other's you know, strengths and weaknesses when it comes to living together. While there's a chance they might not understand each other's pop culture references, they seem to get along just fine. Rosie even told Self Magazine that Statham is her, quote, best mate. The couple started dating in 2010 and got engaged in 2016. Mary-Kate Olsen began playing Michelle Tanner on Full House along with her twin sister Ashley when she was about one year old. And at that moment in time, Mary-Kate's future husband, Olivier Sarkozy, was already 18. You're in big trouble, mister! Sarkozy is a French-born banker, the half-brother of former French president Nicolas Sarkozy, who's been working in finance in the U.S. since the early 90s. When the unlikely couple married in 2015, complete with complimentary bowls of cigarettes for guests, Olsen was a 29-year-old designer and Sarkozy was the 46-year-old co-head of the Carlyle Financial Services Group and father to two kids from his previous marriage. By the time Amber Tamblyn got her big break with an Emmy-nominated starring role in Joan of Arcadia in 2002, David Cross had already established himself as one of the most important stand-up comics of his generation and a sketch comedy legend as the co-creator and co-star of HBO's Mr. Show with Bob and David. Excuse me, do these effectively hide my thunder? True love may not always match up people of the same age, but it often seems to pair up the coolest couples. She got me to go on a couple's colonic. It's, it's, a, it's a terrible, terrible idea. The duo welcomed their first child in February 2017. Tamlin was 33 and Cross was 52 when their little one debuted. There are about 32 years between Sarah Paulson, star of the Emmy-winning The People vs. O.J. Simpson, and Holland Taylor, the Emmy-winning character actress known for hit TV and movies like Legally Blonde. But they might as well be teenagers with the way they delightfully and unabashedly shared their love. Holland Taylor slid into your DMs? She actually did. Wow. wow. I love that. Yeah. In a 2017 interview with Sandra Bernhard, a 74-year-old Taylor said her 42-year-old partner makes her feel like the, quote, luckiest person in the world. So I can imagine being in love at my time in my life with somebody who's such a great artist, such a free, independent spirit. And during her Emmy acceptance speech in 2016, Paulson cried out, quote, Holland Taylor, I love you. And in an interview with the New York Times, she said of her beloved partner, she was probably the most exquisitely beautiful woman I'd ever seen. Tom Cruise had been in the public eye for more than two decades and previously married to Mimi Rogers and Nicole Kidman when he famously appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show in 2005 and jumped up and down on a couch because he was so in love with former Dawson's Creek star Katie Holmes. Certainly, I did not think that it would turn into the brouhaha that it did. A year later, the couple welcomed a baby girl named Suri, and they wed later in 2006. Though the fairy tale ended a divorce in 2012, it certainly began on a happy note. Holmes reportedly even told Seventeen magazine that when she was younger, she dreamed about marrying the Top Gun star, who was 17 years her senior. I can't even describe it. It's just uh, probably this big smile on my face describes it. What's even more uncomfortable than the teen crush factor was the fact that Katie was allegedly assigned to Scientology chaperone during their time together. Totally normal, right? As relayed in their New York Times wedding announcement, Baldwin approached yoga instructor Ilaria Thomas in a vegan restaurant and said, quote, I must know you. Then he gave her his business card, which is quite possibly the most old man way to ever approach a woman in the history of courtship. But it worked, no doubt in part because he's one of the most recognizable actors on the planet. Oh. Have I got your attention now? They played phone tag for a while, finally got together, and obviously hit it off. The couple with the 26-year difference in age married in the summer of 2012. It's Thomas's first marriage and Baldwin's second. He was previously married to Kim Basinger, who was four years his senior. 
There are advantages to being married to a man Alex age. For one thing, he is a wonderful grandfather to our children. While we kid Baldwin for his old-fashioned pickup moves, don't think this relationship is that of a caretaker and her geriatric lover. These two got right to work on growing a family. The New York City real estate magnate turned reality TV star turned president of the United States was not yet either of the latter two things when he met Slovenian model Melania at a party in 1998. It's going to be a great evening. It always is. According to GQ at the time, he had been separated from his second wife, Marla Maples, for more than a year. Donald was 52 and Melania was just 28. It appeared the 24-year age difference didn't matter much and the two married in January 2005. I'm so proud of your choice for president of the United States, my husband, Donald J. Trump. Since his rise to political stardom, there have been many seemingly uncomfortable revelations about the pair's marriage, but perhaps none more cringeworthy than those made by Donald himself. He was an open book. He would say anything. We're talking about Trump's infamous call-ins to shock jock Howard Stern's radio show, like the time Donald joked about giving a then five months pregnant Melania a quote, week to get back in shape after giving birth. Oof. Ladies and gentlemen, David Foster. David Foster is the soft rock mega producer, songwriter, and arranger who transformed the band Chicago into an 80s light FM machine, and who also helped acts like Celine Dion, Kenny G, and Michael Buble find their way onto every dental office playlist in America. Do you have the McFever? Here she is. Catherine McPhee is the singer who combined Broadway-level pipes with model looks to propel herself to a second-place finish on American Idol, as well as a successful acting career starring in movies like The House Bunny and the TV shows Smash and Scorpion. But despite their 35-year age difference, these two make it work. In 2018, Foster proposed to McPhee and the couple wed in June 2019. Mick Jagger is the consummate definitive rock star, both because of his ability to electrify and enchant a crowd for more than 50 years now, with his singing and rooster-like swagger, and for how he is unabashedly non-monogamous. Among the women to whom Jagger vowed his temporary undying love were model Jerry Hall, model and future first lady of France, Carla Bruni, model Anita Pollenberg, model Luciana Jimenez, and singer Marianne Faithful. But in June 2014, Jagger went for someone who didn't walk the runway or sing songs for a living and got together with American ballet theater dancer Melanie Hamrick. In 2016, Hamrick gave birth to her first child, but the Rolling Stone frontman's eighth in all. The couple's respective ages as of 2020 put him at 76 and her at 33. By the late 1980s, Aerosmith, the rock band fronted by scarf aficionado and raspy voice singer Steven Tyler, had been around for so long and endured so many ups and downs that it was ready for a comeback, which it achieved via the hit albums Permanent Vacation and Pump. And it was during that period that Tyler turned 40 and his future love, Amy Preston, was born. Even Tyler's daughter, model and actress Liv Tyler, was into the double digits by then. I certainly had my way with women, and women had their way with me. too constantly get, get laid. <laughs> yeah. But before Preston caught Tyler's eye romantically, she turned his head professionally, working as the rock star's personal assistant. According to Entertainment Tonight, Preston worked with Tyler for years, but they first emerged as a couple in early 2016. The duo were spotted holding hands while walking into the Elton John AIDS Foundation's Oscar viewing party, and they've basically been inseparable since. The 12-year age gap between Lisa Bonet and Jason Momoa is the last thing on the Aquaman star's mind because for him, it was literally love at first sight. Speaking to James Corden in 2017, Momoa said he was head over heels for Bonet before she even knew he existed, all thanks to her role as Denise Huxtable on The Cosby Show. He said, Ever since I was like eight years old and I saw her on the TV and uh, I was like, Mommy, I want that one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to stalk you for the rest of my life and I'm going to get you. Of course, Jason, who openly admitted to being, quote, full-fledged stalker, went on to explain that he said nothing about any of this to Lisa until they had two children together. You know, for obvious reasons. I've always wanted to meet her, and I was, she was a queen, always. The couple started dating in 2005 and made it official more than a decade later with a secret wedding in 2017 per Us Weekly. According to Bonet, the night she met Momoa was the dream of every fan of the Game of Thrones hunk. She told Porter Magazine, he basically picked me up and threw me over his shoulder caveman style. 
Less than three months after comedian Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande split, the SNL star and actress Kate Beckinsale were spotted flirting at a Golden Globes after party, according to Page Six, and a romance with a 20-year age gap began. An insider told E! News that although they seem like an unlikely pair, he always has her laughing and that's a good feeling to have. They talk a lot and never run out of things to say. A week later, Beckinsale told the LA Times that she was surprised at all the attention her romantic life was getting. She said, It's all quite shocking and something to get used to. I think if you liked the person less, you would bow out of it. Have you been enjoying all of the attention? I hate it. It's awful. <laughs> less than a month later, the whirlwind romance was over. When Ben Foster and Robin Wright met on the set of the film Rampart, the sparks flew despite the 14-year age difference. Three years later, the actors announced their engagement. Wright told The Telegraph that Foster's proposal was surprising but ultimately inevitable. She explained, We felt married anyway. We've been together ever since the first date. But their blissful engagement lasted just 10 months. A source told Us Weekly, The gap just ended up being too much. Ben was kind of immature. She couldn't deal with him anymore. The couple reconciled a few months later, but in 2015, they called it quits once again. In 2016, Foster popped the question to that 70s show and Orange is the New Black star, Laura Prepon, and the couple who are just one year apart in age welcomed their first child a year later. I have to be like let out of prison to be able to get married, so we'll, we'll see what happens. The duo tied the knot in 2018 and are expecting their second child in 2020. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.